Okay. Today I'm on an inspection with two clients that are also TikTok followers. So that's Jack, that's Brian. And they found me on TikTok, hired me to come do an inspection because they had to waive their inspection. But anyway, we're finding stuff. So uh, thank you very much for letting me do this video. But let me show you this super cool uh, find right now that was sort of elusive at first. So I came around this side of the house and I was looking at this wall here and I noticed this gap right here. And you'll notice it gets smaller as it goes down. So my first inclination was to think that perhaps this was settling. And so the first thing I did was I came over here to look on this side because if it was settling, you would see separation at the bottom down here. And I didn't see that. So I was a little perplexed as to how this could separate on this side without it settling. So I came around the other side. And as I came around to this side, obviously I saw the same gap on this side here. But when I looked down, I can see right there, you'll see where this wall has lifted up. So you'll see that line right there, right along there. Now we are in Pennsylvania right now. We're, uh, I don't know, we're about an hour north of Philly right now. And out here, I think it's like 11 degrees outside right now. It is freezing. But what happens here is if these things aren't constructed properly and they don't have the foundations or footings below frost level, what happens is moisture gets underneath these walls and it's called frost heave. Water gets under it, it freezes and it lifts it up. And every winter it just moves it up a 16th of an inch or so. And over time you get frost heave and it can actually move entire structures. It can cause a lot of damage. Now this particular condition I think can be saved. I don't think all this needs to be rebuilt. What they have to do is some sort of remediation on the exterior, and that can be with, uh, you can do it with footings, you can do it with flashings, there's lots of different ways to remediate this, but you got to quit, you got to stop the water from getting under this wall, freezing and lifting that up. So I'm going to recommend they get a contractor out here to do that right away. And that's a big bunch of nope. 